Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to do a summary of the just released paper by OpenAI. The paper is called Governance of Super Intelligence, and it was written by the three founders, or the co-founders, in particular Sam Altman, who's also the CEO, Greg Brockman, and Ilya Sutskever. This has got all the big, big, big wigs on this one, and uh, it is a short but very important paper. I will put a link to the full paper in the description below. But uh, in a sense, it's time to be excited and it's time to be a little bit worried. Uh, there's a call for governance and a few other things in here. But anyways, I won't get ahead of myself. So AI summary coming up. Please, if you have any questions or if you have any concerns, just leave a comment. I'll respond to all of them. All right. Thanks for listening. This article discusses the potential of superintelligence, an advanced form of artificial intelligence. AI, projected to exceed human capabilities across most domains within the next decade, equivalent to the productive capacity of today's largest corporations. It compares the potential risks and benefits of superintelligence to the introduction of other impactful technologies like nuclear energy and synthetic biology, emphasizing the need for proactive risk management to avoid existential threats. The article highlights three strategies for successfully navigating the development of superintelligence. Coordination. Leading development efforts should collaborate to ensure that superintelligence is created safely and integrated smoothly into society. This could involve a government-led project incorporating various efforts or a collective agreement to limit the growth rate of AI capabilities, backed by a newly established organization. Regulation. The authors propose the establishment of an international authority akin to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, to supervise superintelligence initiatives. This authority would inspect systems, enforce safety standards, impose deployment restrictions, and monitor resource usage, among other duties. Companies could start implementing these standards voluntarily, with individual countries following suit. Technical Capability the creation of a safe superintelligence is an open research question, demanding extensive study. The authors argue that lighter regulation should apply to companies and open-source projects developing AI models below a certain capability threshold, as their risks are in line with other Internet technologies. They express concern about more powerful systems, advising against diluting focus on them by applying similar standards to less advanced technology. The article emphasizes that the public should have significant input into the governance and deployment of powerful AI systems, advocating for a democratic decision-making process. While the design of this mechanism remains uncertain, the authors pledge to experiment with its development. The authors justify the development of superintelligence at OpenAI by two primary motivations. Firstly, they anticipate that this technology will greatly improve society particularly in education, creative work, and personal productivity. They expect that the technology will aid in solving many of the world's problems, resulting in surprising economic growth and quality of life improvements. Secondly, they consider it riskier and more challenging to halt the development of superintelligence given its inherent benefits, decreasing costs, and increasing number of developers. Thus, they emphasize the importance of building it correctly to leverage its benefits and mitigate its risks.